Thank you.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations 
that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust. O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Please stand. <laughs> To you, our King, obedient to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified. Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out what he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now, none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel at, and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, 
I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay, lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, my dear friends, we begin hearing from the first scenes of the Last Supper of Jesus. And one detail that I would like us to see and uh, reflect is their proximity and uh, intimacy with the Lord. All of the disciples, all of the apostles were around the Lord. At kahit naman po bago sila maghapunan, lahat sila ay saksi, lahat sila ay malapit kay Jesus. They listened to the Lord, they followed the Lord, and they saw things in Jesus. At ano po ang aasahan natin sa kanila? Aasahan po natin na dahil malapit sila kay Jesus, sila yung mga magiging mabuting bunga ng mga nakita nila at mga narinig nila kay Jesus. The disciples were all near Jesus inside that upper room and around that table. But the fruits of their intimacy were different. The beloved disciple leaned on it his head on the chest of Jesus and he expressed his intimacy and tender closeness to the Lord. Judas was around that table but what was at the back of his head was that sooner or later I will betray this man. Peter was also around that table but soon during the course of the Passion, he would deny the Lord. Alam niyo po, napakadaling sabihin kahit ngayon na malapit tayo sa Diyos. Malapit tayo sa Diyos dahil nagdadasal tayo, nagsisimba tayo, madalas tayo magkumpisal, mapagbigay tayong mga tao at marami pang iba. Pero baka malayo naman talaga yung puso natin o yung mismong buhay natin, malayo naman talaga sa Diyos. Madaling sabihin na close ako kay Lord, pero hindi close ang ugali sa Diyos. Baka nga pala simba o pala dasal, pero hindi naman ito makita sa bunga ng kanyang buhay. When we intend to be close to the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, we also intend the whole of ourselves to be close to Him. Closest, closeness to the Lord would not vary in physical intimacy, but also the intimacy of our hearts and our lives. Malapit kay Jesus, kaya ang buong buhay malapit din. During these holy days of our Holy Week, all of us will try our very best 
through our celebrations, through our prayers, to be close to the Lord. Pero magandang suriin, baka lumalapit tayo sa Diyos, nilalayo naman pala din natin ang ating buhay at puso sa Kanya. But as we come near the Lord, let us also bring our lives and our hearts together with it. That we may not be close only in proximity, but our lives and our hearts as well are close to the Lord. Please stand. Let us humbly present our petitions before our Lord, always remembering the suffering He endured in order to make salvation possible for us. For every petition, we shall all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel betrayed by friends may avoid bitterness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That sinners may not be discouraged, but seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer may find the strength to bear their bar burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may unite their, their sufferings with Christ and be filled with inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be given a place in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own intentions, as well as the prayers offered in, in this Mass, and our prayers for each other. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, in your wisdom, you permitted your only Son to, so to suffer for us. Through the Spirit, draw us closer to you, that we may express our devout gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord, our God. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family. And to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion, and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The, lo the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 